Hi everyone I wish you a warm welcome to Usability. Today we are going to discover how to run Beach Buggy Racing 2 on your PC, here you are able to watch it on screen. It will be possible to efficiently download and set up Beach Buggy Racing 2 and play the game on our Windows PC using our gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. Then without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, to start we have to open our main browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because I provided a link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. Once clicking on the link, we arrive here on the website of LD Player. Which the Android emulator that we will load to enjoy the game Beach Buggy Racing 2 on PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of advantages of preferring that emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. So we will start downloading the Beach Buggy Racing 2 by clicking on the button Download Beach Buggy Racing 2 on PC that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on it. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the device. We answered yes. I minimized the browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is pretty simple. It is made up of two choices, install, and setup path. I will describe what setup path truly does. We merely simply click on it. And therefore we see that we display here the path where your emulator is going to be set up. If we need to vary this directory we are required to click on that browse button, and we pick another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we prefer. To keep it simple, just leave it by default. Then, I click on back. Therefore I simply click on install. At this time, before starting setting up the emulator, it's possible that it's going to present us more than one software packages to put on on our PC. Because I do not need any of those computer software, I purely click several times on the reject button. Fantastic. The installation commences and it will carry on in the download of those MB that are visible on our screen. When you save it on your hard disk, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The download rate may go faster or slower, subject to your connection and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator servers. Today they are working extremely fast. The download is completed, and instantly it proceeds with the setup procedure. The installation is going to take more or less time primarily based on the strength of your computer, the more powerful it really is, the faster the software setup time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and installation phase it can take a very long time, so have patience. It is now finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started instantly. As you can discover, down here, we have a progress bar that will fill up and once it actually reaches the finish, the emulator will be started for the first time. Indeed the emulator has already been started, here it is for the first time. And as a result LD Store is automatically started, which is a kind of Google Play. It isn't really the optimal technique to install the video game, and so I do not recommend it, for the reason that frequently the LD Store puts an out-of-date version of the Android game. I'll explain to you how to set up the video game working with the Google Play I recommend you to do it this way. First of all, we must begin doing is to go to the desktop by pressing this icon that I'm pointing out in green color. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it created two software icons there on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player software icon is the only one we're interested in. Whenever we desire to launch Beach Buggy Racing 2 on the desktop or laptop, we twice click on this icon and consequently use the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon is not related to multiplayer or nearly anything like this, the reality is, it is an software icon that we would most likely never utilize. Shall we do the next phase, which is a requirement, and this is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go here to, System Apps, we click. And we'll click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is launched. In this case we need to sign in. So now when we're here, we have to execute the following step which is absolutely mandatory. Therefore click on, Sign In. Presently it says, Checking Info. It might from time to time get blocked in, Checking Info, that's why it doesn't advance. In this case, you can attempt to log in in after a couple of hours it's going to most certainly be solved. At this time we are going to type our email and password. The email address needs to be a Gmail email address and its associated password. As an example you can use the same email address you use currently in your YouTube account. Thus I am going to insert my data and I'll revisit after I have accomplished it. Voila, data typed. This is Google welcoming us and providing us their terms of service. We should accept them all by just clicking on I agree. Following that, it offers us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it and it'll build a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can utilize that feature if you wish. We simply click on accept. By now Google Play is launched by default and automatically. When the Google Play is simply not started instantly and you do not know how to start it by yourself, I demonstrate how to do it. First thing is to navigate to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this app icon designated in green. Straight away we go to the system apps folder. And we select the Play Store icon. Yes, we're right inside Google Play. What we are going to perform will be browse here to search for apps and games. And thus we are going to research Beach Buggy Racing 2. Presently there we end up with it, we must select the very first result. Listed here we have the Android game. Why don't we simply click now on the install option that I am just highlighting now in green color. 
That click will start the software setup. At this moment it should install the game app, it might take a bit of time or perhaps it could be very fast. This all is going to depend on our own web connection. It's already finished installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by hitting the following button that I'm emphasizing in green, to be able to start Beach Buggy Racing 2 for the first time. You are by now on the emulator desktop, and then we are about to just click the brand new Beach Buggy Racing 2 icon which was provided. Your game is started for the first time. Now there we end up with it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the sound level of the emulator. It's right here. We have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we don't use the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of this emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is the very first one, we mouse click on this particular app icon that I am pointing out in green color. Now please maximize your screen, coming with one border at the top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. Granted that we desire to launch the game in full screen, we mouse click on this particular game icon. And thus we would without a doubt be enjoying the game app in 100% screen setting. To quit the full screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we might just be in regular display screen mode. At present, I am going to clarify you the keyboard mapping that is certainly extremely enjoyable. This step we definitely will be able to use the video game a lot more effortlessly. The very first point is to click on this computer keyboard icon. And at this time there you will be able to complete the necessary configuration settings. I'll go ahead and keep the standard configuration, though if you plan to change it, you can easily do it now without having problem. I grab this opportunity to say that from time to time, when commencing the game application a black screen comes out, if this is so and you get the black screen and the emulator doesn't commence, I suggest a achievable alternative. We can go here, to the cogwheel. In your emulator options, in the advanced selection we have a range of resolutions. That is the pixel quality that we have previously decided to go with by default and we must select any of these additional resolutions, for example that one below. We take it and afterwards press save. It may tell us to restart that emulator and once rebooted, likely the emulator will begin and the black display will cease to exist. Obviously, the emulator is completely in our own language. From time to time it happens that your emulator is started in the improper language, for example, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to set it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus here throughout other options, we just click the language drop down. We may select the language we want, German, Mandarin, etc. Once the language is selected, we could save, the emulator will restart, and also the game, the next time we launch it, will as well be in the pick language. So now, there is another point that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive an email saying that a different electronic device has been connected to our Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the people who have associated with that device. Indeed, we should not get worried, considering that the emulator is acting as an Google Android electronic device. So you can see which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Let's go here to the, model, selection. And here we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my tutorial. I anticipate you appreciated it, particularly that everyone found it interesting. If that is so, give it a good like, subscribe, and any remarks, issues or suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. You could also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams every once in a while, you have it down below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of these training videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye.